Hey, today is Thursday. We're wrapping it up. It's a little bit of a later day since I didn't have to hit the post office. It's about six o'clock. Uh, I've been sitting in the office there for a little bit, getting through some paperwork and some invoicing and sold some trunk struts. The wheels are gone as of today. The 65s from the last car, they're going up to Kent, Washington. I don't know what they're going on, but my dad took two earlier. I've got to take these two uh, now when I leave. I did clean up the car today. Um, I'm pissed with the Hawk brake pads. Oh no, Kenan's gonna let it fly on me now. Um, years ago, I'm gonna give you the whole story because we got time. Years ago, I wanted a pad that was A, cheaper. Back then, that was a bigger motivation. Um, B, maybe it would stop better because why not? Stopping better never hurt anybody. And C, um, less dust, and that was my pri that is now my primary reason. BMW pads, you drive the car a week, your wheels are black with thick, heavy dust. Um, and I hate that. I want to drive the car a month and have them not look that bad. Now, if you're familiar with business, you know the three-legged stool. I forget exactly what it is now, which is embarrassing. Um, cost, time, and quality, I think. Pick two. You can't have all three of them. It can't be cheap, quick, and quality. It can be cheap and it can be quick, but then it's cheap and shitty. Or it can be quick and quality, but now it costs a lot of money. You know, you know, you get the idea. It's the same thing with brake pads. They're not gonna stop really well and be really quiet and be dustless. Those are the three prerogatives there. Um, it can stop really well and be quiet, but it's gonna make a lot of dust. If it uh, is quiet and doesn't make much dust, now maybe it doesn't stop so well. With brakes, I think stopping really well has to be one of those. Brakes have to stop the car very well. And then my other thing has to be dust. I'm going to choose dustless over um, quiet. And that's what I have. And I'm not happy with it. So I don't really know what to do. But they've gotten way worse. And I went with the Hawks. They were quiet. They were the three-legged stool. They were all three for years. And then I replaced them at one point. Um, same thing. And then I replaced them another time because I was just doing brakes and I just kept changing the pads out because they were cheap. And uh, since then, you know, they're good for about a thousand miles. Then they get loud. And then 3,000 miles later, they dust as bad as the OEM ones. I'm at like 20,000 miles. It's been a little while now, so it's not as low as I'm making it sound. But after, say, 10, 12, 15,000 miles, they start dusting a lot. Um, and to the point where after a week of driving, I just look at my car real quick. And it's like, wow, my wheels are silver again. And they're shiny and they look good. It just, it takes a ton of time and it hurts my back sitting on my ass polishing these damn things every week. So let me know. I think I'm gonna end up with the Akabonos. I don't know which one. Uh, I guess like some sort of a street pad I haven't exactly looked yet, but that seems to be what everybody points me towards. Okay, you gotta tell me what it is. Tell me what it is. Oh boy. Oh boy, what the hell is this? Why is it in here? Do you guys know what this is? Pretty cool, right? Kind of. Chassis or the uh, the bodywork was made in Italy, sent over here, and then made it up to the rest of the car. Bizarre. It's a little side job. Alex is uh, pulling a motor and transmission, and uh, that's why it's here. It's not going to be here very long. It's a North Star 32 valve 4.4, 4.6. I'm not sure. Um, transversely mounted V8 with cylinders 2, 4, 6, and 8 in bank 2. Isn't that weird? If we look at it like a traditional V, our, our Cadillac went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You know, different. Also, I love that they put a cup holder in the engine bay. So when you're fixing your car, you got a place to put your beer or tequila. Thursday night. Tonight was a night of fish sticks and inglorious bastards. I'm a little bit late, 10 years to be exact. That movie came out 10 years ago, 2009. Kenan and I were going to see it in theater. I don't know what happened, it never worked out. Fast forward 10 years, we live on different sides of the country and finally I got to see the movie. Uh, I guess it's on Netflix now, it's free. It was a good watch. I had to do a lot of subtitle reading, but that was okay. Anyways, I'm gonna keep this short. Um, day at the shop, we sold the wheels, we shipped those out, I sold the bumper, the guy's coming to pick it up on Sunday. Uh, there's been some good progress recently. Alex is up there now working on the Elante, the motor's out, he's done, and uh, we'll get that thing pushed out of there tomorrow, probably. So, uh, with that, I'm gonna get in, get through, uh, get inside, get through tonight's mail and Facebook and whatnot, get to bed, we'll talk on Friday. Good night.